Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. With the rollout and release of Windows 11, there seems to be a couple of memory and performance issues. And I actually did, did post a video uh, just now regarding um, performance issues with the file explorer and memory issues. And just to mention quickly, the file explorer could be causing uh, some memory sparks and issues for users of Windows 11. Also, um, there's been performance issues with AMD processors, and I have posted on that as well. And also, some have re uh, there's been some user reports of reduced gaming performance. Now, a possible reason for this um, is that two of Windows 11's security features are called Virtualization-Based Security, VBS, and Hypervisor Protected Code Integrity, HVCR Security. Now, it is possible that VBS, virtualization-based security, uh, is causing this problem. But now you must just note that um, if you installed Windows 11 yourself, so basically you did an upgrade from uh, with Windows Update, or you used the ISO file, media creation tool, update assistant, and so on, this feature is most probably not enabled by default on your machine. But if you have somehow... Uh, since the release bought a new uh, device and computer with Windows 11 pre-installed, then this VBS uh, setting could be enabled by default on your PC. So if you have been experiencing a couple of memory issues, performance issues and so on, then it's worthwhile just to check. As I say, it's, it's not guaranteed to solve the problem, but it is worthwhile to check. Now how we do this is we need to go to the Windows Security app, which you can find uh, in your Start menu. Well, I'm using it as my main security uh, uh, client on this machine. So we just open that. And then in Windows Security, you go to Device Security. And under Core Isolation, Virtualization-Based Security protects the core parts of your device. As you can see, I upgraded this machine. And it's off by default. Now, as I mentioned, if you have purchased a PC, there's a good chance that this uh, could be enabled by default and on. So it's worthwhile checking. And if you have been experiencing any issues regarding performance and memory sparks and, mem uh, you know, over the top memory usage, then just go check and turn this off. And this could um, help give you back a little bit more performance and resolve some of those uh, memory and performance issues. If you are using Windows 11 and you have purchased a device with Windows 11 pre-installed. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.